Hey everyone, I'm Celestial. Today I wanted to talk about a few things that are more apparent on console, but this can also maybe apply to PC players. However, I'm speaking with mostly my own experience playing Dead by Daylight on old gen Xbox One S. Kind of like this Wraith here, who's clearly suffering from low FPS. This will actually help me transition to the points I want to bring up in this video, which are frame rate, dead heart, just for example, and game health. Sometimes when people trigger the active ability for dead heart on console, it's not that the perk isn't working, it's just that your frames are dropping. The perk is working as intended, but the lack of SPS is making your frame iframes essentially not exist when your game freezes. This causes situations in which you would regularly avoid damage. Like in this clip, I would have gotten down straight afterwards without dead heart, but because my frames dropped, my game froze, and because my game froze, it's done to dead heart, which didn't allow me to make the proper distance to the pallet on the side of the building. However, there are times where it works perfectly fine, because in those times, nothing's happening within the game for your frames to drop. And and what I mean by this is that usually, again, this is my experience, usually the times in which your FPS is most likely to drop is through others' actions within the match. You know, say, killer's power, searching through chests, unhooking, breaking hex totems, and sometimes it could be the match you get, like, not the match, the map you get like the RPD building here, or the rain in Mother's Dwelling. And also, another example is, before they had changed the hook struggle prompt, if your game froze at any moment, you would literally just die on the hook. This all just goes back to game health, which has been an issue for a while with this game, and I know some people will say it's an old gen issue, but this game was never ported properly for console to begin with. The freezes and frame drops have been happening for literal years. It's just as the game ages and gets bigger, it's easier to fall back on blaming hardware instead of pointing out poor diligence due to the devs part from the beginning. And all this is to say that this game was never meant to work well with 30 FPS, and that's being gracious, and due to the poor development porting on the general functions. So while the perks, powers, or actions to do like do tend to work, the game itself is struggling to handle all that at a consistent level. So at this point, like no matter what you do, the game is going to continue to work against you because it always has, regardless of hardware, it's just now becoming more staggering because of a combination of negligence and hardware. Yeah, I kind of went off a bit, but that's all I really wanted to say. But yeah.